Hey there YouTube, Aaron, finally here in San Francisco, here at this uh, art museum. I only know that because uh, I found it on Google Earth. I need to do a little more research on it. I thought I could come here and read about it, get some flyers or whatever, but I can't find anything on it anywhere. And it's really, really nice, and I think it was built in the early 1920s, And but I can see the... Uh, Whoever's in charge of running San Francisco here has let it go pretty much to waste and let the uh, drug addicts hang out here, find needles around here, and garbage everywhere. So I, it's pretty sad to see, you know, something, one of the nicest things I've seen in this city uh, being torn apart. Hey there, YouTube ADB024, back here in uh, Eugene, Oregon. Um, and I researched that um, art museum. It's actually the uh, Museum of Fine, or Palace of Fine Arts there in San Francisco. It was built, uh, finished in 1915 for the World's Fair. Uh, big celebration, uh, commemorating, celebrating the uh, completion of the Panama Canal. And, you know, that was back in the days when we used to actually uh, celebrate accomplishments of our country. And it was a big deal. I mean, they even had the, uh, they put the Liberty Belt from Pennsylvania on a train and even took it there and all sorts of things. I mean, look into it if you like that sort of thing. But, yeah, it's sad to see, uh, you know, most countries wouldn't allow something like that to go to waste. and in my eyes it really is uh, when you get close to it toes of certain statues on the uh, uh, artwork there you know it was broken to pieces by people and I came across one website of schedules of certain concert events that are will be held there and it just tells me why I found garbage everywhere and drug use and it's it's pretty nasty but uh, my overall um, San Francisco, what I felt about it was uh, everything seemed to be built in the 1920s, early 1920s, uh, the uh, Roaring Twenties, you know, um, that's what I found. And obviously because the uh, 1906 uh, earthquake, they had to rebuild the whole city, but, you know, things like that, um, it took a lot of money, a lot of financing, a lot of credit to rebuild a city like that, so just um, one of the many things in the uh, United States that could have caused, uh, of course, the uh, Depression. And we all uh, were dreaming about the uh, Federal Reserve Bank, you know, and thinking it was uh, the savior, but uh, didn't turn out that way. And it seems we're thinking the same way that the uh, Federal Reserve Bank is going to save us and we can just keep printing and borrowing that money. But, uh, you know, reality's going to hit us, and I think it is. But, um, you know, in every city in America, you can see um, the great economic boom of the 1920s. I can see it right here in Eugene and the uh, structures, uh, the railroads being built, every, everything. Um, you can see it in the housing uh, right here in Eugene. The housing that was being built in the 1920s were huge. No one needed them. I mean, the little families building uh, five five person uh, five bedroom uh, homes you know and you can see then after World War II you know the houses were really small and um, affordable for people and and we've kind of gotten carried away again it's really no different so but my overall uh, San Francisco it seems yeah it was built in the 20s you know and no one's done anything since. The, uh, the liberals have taken it over and just um, raked in, ripped off tourists, and um, done nothing. All that's there is the uh, financial uh, markets and uh, corporations and 
really is no production of anything. It's just numbers and computers now. So there's really nothing going on there. It's just a disaster waiting to happen. But uh, have a good one. Here is the room. Kind of in San Francisco here. Kind of has that San Francisco feel too with this uh, little, what do you call this? Uh, breakfast window or bay window or whatever. Here's the view. Uh, can't see much of the bay. You can peek through and see tip of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge there. And over here, this is uh, Lombard Street right out here. And you can uh, see the top of uh, the hill there, Lombard. And then I think on the uh, back side of that, that's where Lombard, I think the, uh, call it the curviest street in the world. Yeah, whatever. And that's it. It was, uh, you know, usually you can't even see the, uh, the bridge, uh, supports when you're on the bridge. So it's an amazing day to be able to see that today. Real, real nice day in San Francisco. It's scary. Oh, well, look, there's someone's house parking right there. Yeah, pull up yeah. to their nice garage. People yeah. in their yard, too. Nice farms over there. Nice gardens. Holy smokes! Okay, well, I'm getting the at the back alleys of Chinatown. Oh, well, maybe you like, can. Um, oh, you can record it uh, after you um, finish eating because it's well, it gets dark. Oh okay. yeah, oh. That, that's when Jack Jackie Chan comes out. And, yes. Okay. <laughs>